fishing trips on board the dearest Selena. I'm guessing that's the name of the ship. Enquire with Felicia Stone Top at the bar or with Sylvia Seafoam at the harbor. It's some book Sally's been reading. She insisted that we bring it with us, although I'm not sure why. Hex of the Helmsman by J.D. Werman. Looks like Sally's read through it a couple of times already. I wonder what's so interesting about it. There's nothing written on the barrels. I'm sure they were once filled with some kind of wonderful, unsanctioned local ale. Barstools. The wood is rotting, so I've strategically chosen not to sit on them. It's the case file, the reason we're here. It was left for us right here on the bar. Captain Sifo. As far as I know, that's who hired us. And who left the case file here in the inn. But where are they now? Where is anyone? Sally, what do you think? Mm. Great contribution. It's Sally. She's fast asleep. <sighs> to be fair, it is four in the morning. I agree to stay awake and see if anyone shows up. So far, nothing. I thought I heard something outside. Hello? Sally, wake up. We have to go. Oh. Why? Because there's an eerie green light trying to lure us outside. No, oh, that's a pretty good reason. I'll get up. I think it's time to go outside. To move around, use the map button in the bottom left. It's a billboard for a theater. Baroness Fortuna presents Fortuna Hall. Performing tonight, Waylon Wolf. Oh, tonight? Yeah, we didn't come all this way to go to the theater. Also, the sign is several years old. It's the stone top emblem, I guess. Looks like a snowman. It's not. Why would it be a snowman? All right, then, what is it? I think it's three stones stacked on top of each other. 
Oh, that actually does make more sense. The Stone Top Inn. The best inn in Silkworm on Sea. It's the only inn. And therefore the best. A large stone statue on top of a fountain. It looks like a fisherman wrestling with some kind of dragon. It says right here, the Silkworm Serpent. It can't be a serpent. It has legs. Right? Are you awake? I thought I was, but maybe not. Maybe this is my dream. It's not a dream. Hmm. That's exactly what Dream Grimoire would say. Another abandoned building. Mr. Grip's Emporium. What do you think they sell? Currently, nothing. There's an old lighthouse up on the rock. Can we go up to the top? Do you have permission from the lighthouse keeper? No. Then no. There's something in the water. What is it? I don't know. But whatever it is, is the source of the green light. Is that...? A submarine. I think I can see someone standing on the deck. Maybe we should go take a look. An old wooden boy. With a face. This is where the green light was coming from. I noticed it started to fade as soon as we stepped onto the deck. So it's a boy that doubles as a lighthouse? The opposite, really. A lighthouse warns you to stay away, but this thing lured us in. There's a chain connecting the buoy to the door. So when the foredeck is underwater, the boy floats up above it? That explains how we saw the green light before the submarine actually surfaced. An old rowing boat. Or... Or what? Or... It only has one oar. Oh! Looks like it originally said Seafoam, but that got crossed out, and now it says Mortuga. I'm getting mutiny vibes from this. I don't know about you. It's the wrong way around. What? Take another look at the case file. here. The door's open, though. Somebody must have opened it after the submarine surfaced. Does that constitute an invitation? Ready, Sally? What's at the bottom of the ladder? I can't see... It's pitch black. Should we go back up? Wait, I think there's a lever. I 
think this door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. Well. You can't. It's locked. It's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine. Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. Do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Why would they do that? There's an old-fashioned speaker mounted on the wall. It's playing spooky music. It's the kind of music you'd hear at a fancy party for vampires. I hear it. But the vampires are all wearing masks, and there's one guy who's secretly not a vampire, and... Sally. Mm hmm? I cleaned the couch. What? If we end up having to stay the night. Sally, we are not staying overnight on the murder submarine. But I brought my toothbrush. It's like an old-fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. It's short for withdrawing, as in you withdraw there after dinner. I actually never knew that. It's like an old-fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. It's short for withdrawing, as I in... actually never knew that. A glass of wine. Ominously left half finished. Maybe the wine was corked. Ominously corked. Whoa. What is that? smell. It smells weird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It smells like... It's kind of earthy. Damp. Well, it's an old painting. Old things smell. It's just weird because we're in a submarine. That it smells like soil. What's in the frames? They're just ocean landscapes. This is the weirdest submarine I've ever been on. And the first? And the first. I guess this is what lights up the room when you pull the switch. I wonder what they burn to make it pink. This door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. Well, you can't. It's locked. It's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine. Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. Do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Why would they do that? Let's go to the crime scene before we do anything else. Fish lamp. A timeless classic. Playing cards. Looks like someone got dealt a bad hand. Oh, really? 
I have no idea. I just thought that would sound cool. Wait, are these windows or lights? Both. It's a good idea, since you'd never get any natural light down here. This looks like dead coral. Is coral ever alive? Coral are marine animals, dude. What? A little pot with a red crayon and a blue crayon. You're not going to pick it up? No. Ten bucks says this turns out to be an important clue. You're on. It's a big metal statue of a serpent. Uh, there is a cabinet built into it, but I think it's locked. Four dials, with a window in the center of each one. Turning each dial rotates the shapes that appear in the surrounding windows. What do those numbers mean, though? That was it. Nice work. The little cabinet opened. Anything in there? Picture of a fish. Delightful. Three tables, arranged into a Z shape. It's actually more like an S from this angle. Oh, maybe they were trying to write my name, but they ran out of tables. Pots and pans for cooking. I guess this is the mess hall. It is kind of a mess, yeah. It's a big metal statue of a serpent. I opened the cabinet and found this. There's a little broken bottle on the floor. I'm guessing Mortuga dropped this when he died. Someone's taped the drawing to the wall. I think it's supposed to be a poster.
There's a cloth hanging up on the wall. Are those footprints? So, this is where Magnus Mortuga died. It's just like the case file said. He landed on his back with a cauldron at his feet. He was killed by getting cut across the neck, right? Yeah. You can see that's where the blood came from. But there's no weapon. No knife or anything. Nothing. The stool's been knocked over. Doesn't it look familiar to you? Sally, it's a standard wooden stool. I don't... It looks exactly like the bar stools in the Stone Top Inn. This is the cauldron? Not quite what I was expecting. said it had never been unlocked before. This place gives me the creeps. That cauldron especially. I keep staring into it like I'm going to see something. But it really does seem to be empty. To quote from the case file, Motuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced open, and the body was discovered. So Mortuga was alone in a locked room. A very small locked room. There really isn't anywhere for a murderer to hide. I'm not so sure. I think there is a hiding place. Captain Seafoam unlocked the cauldron and hid something inside. That's not right. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and hid something inside. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Magnus Mortuga locked the cauldron and hid something inside. That's not right either. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and was killed by what was inside. Hmm. I really don't think a person would fit in that cauldron. And didn't they say it had never been unlocked before? If that's true, there couldn't have been anyone in there. Right, I agree. I don't think it was a person. Then what? I don't know. But you have to wonder why it was kept locked in the first place. I'm guessing there was something pretty bad in there. Uh, look... Mortuga died from a cut across his neck, not from some vague paranormal entity. Unless you're suggesting it was a vague paranormal entity with a knife? Did you get a good look at the inside of the cauldron? There was something I noticed.
can't leave. Why not? And because this is the last room in the demo, 